One of the 21st century skills is self-managing. Students that are self-managers are able to manage risk, are organised and like to see a project to completion. OneNote is software that can be used to facilitate the self-manager. OneNote is designed to accept multiple resources with tools to organise them. The specific features in OneNote that enables this process are the tools found under the insert ribbon, allowing the user to add any resource that is on the desktop. In addition, students can use the task and emailing tools. I will create a sample run through to illustrate these functions. All right, in this example, I'm going to show you how a self learner can use OneNote to work through a task from the beginning to the end. So in this case, uh, the team leader for the um, 2011 challenge group has given Rachel, a student here, a, um, a challenge through an email. And the email says, Kokoda Challenge, Dear Rachel, as team leader of Group A, the challenge is I have set you to organise Group A to enter, to enter the Gold Coast 2011 Kokoda Challenge. By end of the week, please email me your plan towards this task. So what Rachel can do now is start her OneNote that she's going to share with her team members. Um, but before that, she can send the information that she's got an Outlook straight into it. And it's very easy. In most Office products, there's a little OneNote icon. And it just asks you, where does you want this email to go? So uh, I know that she has one called Kokoda set up. Here it is here, new section, OK. And the email jumps directly into OneNote. So the initial information to start the project is already there. The challenge, who it came from, who it's going to, and the body of the email. All right, dear Rachel, etc. Now the teacher's here has given her a, um, a URL that opens up the Kokoda Challenge so she can find some more information about that. So what she might do is keep that information there, start a new page, and go to the Kokoda Challenge website. Now, having a look at the Kokoda Challenge, there's some basic information here. It just, it's just got the logo, followed by some information on the Kokoda itself. Now, if I just drag that back to the top, what Rachel can do is just bring any information that she finds from a web page directly into OneNote just by using the screen clipping feature. So here's her blank page, insert screen clipping, and it sort of puts a white layer on top of the web page that she was at. And she, if she just wants to capture the logo, she just needs to draw a box around that, let go, and it goes straight into OneNote. All right. Now, if she needs to put some more information in there, she might just want to type straight down here, Let's go back to the website and see if she can find some information about it. Let's see. So it helps Aussie teens. Are there any dates on here? Let's go to a page with some dates. Here we go. It's a 96 kilometre trek. Um, that summits a 5,000 vertical elevation. And she needs to be organised and registered by February 1st. So she can use a screen clipping if she wish, wishes, or she can highlight, or she can just simply write in there. Now she's in OneNote, she has a shareable document that she can share with the, the other people in her group. So she might want to give them some tasks. So if one person in her group is Jenny, Jenny has, some, has three tasks organised. Maybe it's uniform, sponsors, and fundraising. If she wants to set some tasks for um, her other team member, let's say Sue. Sue has um, medical training and support. If Rachel wishes to, she could easily put a little audio message or a video message via her webcam into this so her group can see it. For the purpose of demonstration, I'll miss that task out, but she can do that easily. She can attach any file if she wishes. And in fact, when she's ready now, she can go ahead and share this notebook by clicking Share This Notebook. Now, when the Share This Notebook um, dialog box comes up, it just says what's called, what's called Kokoda. You can either share it on the web or share on a network. Now, Sue and, Sue and Jenny aren't always on this network, so they can just log on to their, to their um, network location and go ahead and share. 
I've chosen a Windows SkyDrive to be able to do that, and I've made some folders available. And if, so if I say web, per, um, this particular folder, and move down to share notebook, then this notebook will be shared, available for Jenny and for um, Sue. There are some other things that, um, that you can do with this to, to help you get through from a task from the beginning to the end. There's some tags you can use. You can mark things as important or things to do. And there's also a great um, research section here as well. So if you click on research, a little window pane will open up with Bing Research and type in Kokoda Challenge if you like. And all the little web pages on Kokoda Challenge would eventually turn up on the side there and the information can be dragged in. There's a lot you can do with linked notes and research. Um, it really helps the self-manager work through their task.